This is Kevin Bullis, Energy Editor at Technology Review. During a recent tour of three of GE's U.S. facilities, I saw some of the advanced manufacturing technology it's using to improve its jet engines and gas turbines for power plants and to make them cheaper to make. At its global research headquarters in Niskayuna, New York, near Albany, it demonstrated a new machining tool it calls Blue Arc. A disc acts as a combination cutting disc and an electrode that delivers an electrical arc that melts away bits of metal. Once the part to be cut is in place, it's flooded with high-pressure machining fluid that acts as a coolant. As the disc approaches, sparks fly, and the cut is made in mere seconds, three times faster than conventional technology. GE is also testing and developing hybrid laser welding that joins thick pieces of metal in seconds. Conventional welding would take 30 minutes and make a much thicker joint. On the tour, GE's chairman and CEO, Jeffrey Immelt, made the case that U.S. manufacturing can be competitive using advanced manufacturing technologies. On the factory floor at a gas turbine plant in Greenville, South Carolina, GE has recently installed a machine that precisely cuts cooling channels in turbine blades using 50,000 psi jets of water, seen here in demonstration mode. The holes allow the turbines to run at higher temperatures and efficiencies. The factory also uses relatively new, high-powered fiber lasers. These can weld parts that used to take four hours in less than a minute. A new $170 million test facility allows it to push new designs to their limits, generating mountains of data that can be used in turn to improve manufacturing. At one end of the facility is a large motor that's used to drive full-scale gas turbines to assess the performance of their compressors. The innovation extends to the factory workers themselves. At a GE Aviation factory in Durham, North Carolina, one jet engine assembler, Scott West, developed a system that suspends a jet engine and dolly weighing seven tons on a thin cushion of air, allowing two to four workers to move the engines instead of six. The time-saving technology is projected to save GE $156,000 a year. West is now extending the technology to other parts of the manufacturing line, hoping to save similar amounts.